do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter excretion and osmoregulation and in that we are studying topic urine now urine is basically acidic in nature 1.5 liters of urine is produced every day in human body and there are conditions which are associated with urine abnormality which is albinuria glucosuria so today let's study about it the amount of urine that's produced in individuals is approximately 1.5 liters and within 24 hours of time span the amount of urine that's stored in your gall bladder or urinary bladder has to be removed out also urine is basically acidic in nature it has to be excreted out from your urinary system it consists substances like uric acid creatinine ammonia all such there are certain conditions that are associated with urinary disorders and which includes basically albuminuria or glucosuria the condition of diabetes what happens in diabetes is that amount of insulin that's produced is not sufficient to act upon your glucose which is a byproduct of your food metabolism breakdown and excess of glucose stores or it is excreted in your urine which is termed as glucosuria there are other conditions like hemoglobinuria albuminuria albumin protein secreted in urine which is not a good sign from your body urine now if i talk about urine the amount of urine that's produced is 1.5 liters approximately in an adult human being normal urine is acidic in nature and its ph varies from 5.8 to 8.2 specific gravity of urine is approximately 1.01 to 1.03 urine has various components and the major components of urine is 95% water 2% urea 0.3% uric acid some amount of creatinine and some amount of ammonia or nh3 now it's basically a transparent pale yellow color liquid due to the pigment called as urobilin
The volume of urine decreases in several pathological disorders or conditions such as dehydration or less amount of water in your system, aerial or hypotension. Whenever arterial hypotension happens, the blood pressure goes up and down and this arterial hypotension may lead to decrease in volume of water in your systems. Also kidney diseases which could be certain type of carcinomas or cancers. This stage is called as oligouria. On the other hand increased or greater amount of urine is termed as polyuria or large amount of urine in your system. Diuresis may be due to fear which is an increased amount nervousness or a cold storage fever or climatic conditions which are very cold around you. Now any urea or you can say suppression stage of the urine is the stage where the kidney basically fails to secrete the amount of urine it needs to do and that may ultimately lead to kidney failure in your long run. Students there are also other diseases with kidney failures like your glucose urea and hemoglobin urea as well as albuminuria. So I hope students we are very clear with this concept of what urine is and what could be its disorders. Thank you.